This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail into Reaction. While I grew up liking a lot of the work of Stephen King, I'm not too fond of the work of his son. That being said, Nosferatu 2 on AMC is pretty good. I genuinely enjoyed that and I actually didn't expect to. There's a work of his on Netflix directed by the awesome Vincenzo Natale called In the Tall Grass. It's okay, though it kind of meanders and I think lacks focus. So, not a Joe Hill fan. Don't hate him, don't like him. I've read, I think I've read one or two of his works, though nothing comes to mind, so maybe I didn't. But I guess based on what I know of, of his work, not too crazy about it. He developed a story called Lock and Key, which was supposed to be a series on AMC. For whatever reason, and it's a little complex, and it's a very twisty road, this series never went into development on AMC, and instead was picked up by Netflix. And today they dropped a trailer. Can you check it out? We're here? Welcome to Key House. I could never get your father to talk about his life here. My kids need a home. This is going to be this home. That's funny. That's actually really. That's good. I like that. This is filled with amazing keys. Listen for them. They whisper. You heard that? I'm getting a Lemony Snicket vibe here. We don't know what these keys are. Well, that was the trailer for Lock and Key, and I wanted to comment during the video, but felt the need to restrain myself, though the video is finished. So, you enter a house with skulls on the fucking doorknobs. I, I know this is just production design, but it's overdone production design, because now this could be just me, but... I would think skulls on doorknobs is really weird and creepy and strange and maybe a place I don't want to be. Just that little aspect alone. And once again, I get this is production design, but it's just so bizarre a feature that it just weirds me out. If you recall The Haunting, that had a door knocker in the shape of a lion. That's kind of normal. Well, I wouldn't say normal, because how many people have knockers, frankly, on their... Well, <laughs> how many people have knockers on doors? And so, I could see that. A lion has a certain nobility to it, a certain power to it. I could see why you'd use that. But a skull, it's implying death. 
and all sorts of not great things. So it looks interesting, as I mentioned during the video though, looks like Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events with supernatural overtones. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'll watch it because it touches on horror, which I enjoy always. But at the same time, it's not something I see myself, unless it's that good, going nuts for. As in trying to catch it in as bingeable a way as possible. I may just do an episode or two a night or something. It doesn't feel like a priority watch to me. I could be wrong. We'll see. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer into Reaction. Peace.